Good morning, everybody. It is a whole new different setup today. <laughs> it is uh, March 22nd, maybe? No, actually, I think it's the 23rd. It's Saturday. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> everybody, it's Kelly from Lockbar Knits. We are in a whole different location today because I am doing an impromptu <laughs> episode. Oh, hi. We have a, come on up. You know, okay. <laughs> so here's the deal. Uh, I just figured we've got some natural light. Let's roll with it. <laughs> the extent of my decision making skills today I did realize I was like I think this would be my normal week for doing a I have a dog hair on my eyeball um a podcast and then I thought we were talking about going to a movie tomorrow so I don't know I haven't been to the theater since before the pandemic so we're thinking we're going to the theater anyway my husband's not here right now he had to go to the other house and I thought hey we got some time. I also just realized I only put one of my earrings in. <laughs> oh, this is going along great so far. This is episode 146, I think. Oh my God, where's, where's the, come on now, <laughs> work with me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off and I don't have my sock blockers here, but I did finally finish my shroom socks last night. I was not going down to watch TV until I finished these. Uh, these are a long time on the needles. I feel like I've kind of lost, I don't know if I lost my sock mojo, but I think part of the problem was that I was doing like the habit habitation throw which was a lot of straight back and forth and I'm on body island on the sweater. So that was just kind of straight knitting that I didn't need sort of the, the mindless sock knitting because everything else I was doing was just pretty mindless knitting. So I think that kind of caused these to sort of fall by the wayside, but I did finish them yesterday and I'm gonna, I'll just hold up one at a time because they both pretty much look the same. <laughs> So this uh, is the Shroom colorway by Lichen and Lice. This is in her 8020 sock base. And this one's got, I think this one has a little more of the yellow bits in it. It's a beautiful yarn. I love this colorway. I really kind of wish I had more of it. I would knit a sweater out of this. It's so pretty, but yeah. I think she still carries this in her shop. So if you're interested, I think it's lichenandlace.com or CA because she's Canadian. I don't know. Anyway, if I remember, I will drop them down below. But if not, you can just literally Google lichen and lace. It'll come up. <laughs> that is my one finished object. That is in my loop bag with the little sock sack with all the little sheepies on it. So that is that. This is the habitation throw. So I didn't get a whole, whole lot of work. I have had almost no knitting time in the last couple of weeks. I don't know what it is. I think part of it is that there were a handful of nights that I had to work late, which I despise doing because I feel like I'm working for free and I don't think I should have to work for free. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, and I think the older I got, the more strict I got about giving my time away to work. I find I have so little free time to myself because you know you're working all day and you're working five days a week that giving them more than what they pay me for just doesn't sit well with me. It just doesn't. <laughs> and when this over a little, here we go. <laughs> But there were, uh, there was some, and even if I go like a half hour over, 
Then by the time we finish supper, I usually try to, my husband will go down and watch some TV and I usually try to join him by between 7, 7.30 so that we can actually have a couple hours of our day to, our, to you know, spend with each other. Because I worked late, which meant supper got late, which means I got to my knitting time later, which means I had about 15 minutes a day for quite a few days. Anyway, so I didn't get a whole, whole lot done. That's the, that's the moral of the story. But here's where I'm at. I'm just gonna stretch this out. I'll see you. We're doing the bluey gray section right now. Before that was the brown. And then before that was like the kind of beigey, creamy, and then there was some really light gray. <laughs> I hope you can see this okay, because I can't see through it. And then like some really light and white. <laughs> so we're on the downside now. We have turned, we have turned the corner. And now I am doing, let's see, where's the, this is all being knit from my Advent Yarns from Smash Knits, which I should check and see if she's listed the ones for next year yet. So I am on color, I think I'm on color 16 or 17, 17, which is this one here. And then next up will be this one. And I don't have the other colors. They're still up in my thing upstairs. Uh, but I think, yeah, so if I'm on 18, 19. Excuse me while I math. 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 left. I don't feel like there's seven upstairs okay well that would be one so six would be upstairs in the thing no i think that's right okay <laughs> carry on <laughs> oh by the way what i'm wearing today is let's see if i can uh, this is my second get up here drk sweater this one was the one i finished most recently i did make these sleeves too short which i have now determined what my sleeve length has to be. So going forward, I'm going to knit to like here and oh, <laughs> to like here and then start the cuff. So I've got the measurements now, which I think I had to write them down because I figure I'm probably not gonna remember. I'm going to always do my sleeves based on like the new length because I was going down and doing them I want to say 14 inches total and it should have been a minimum of 14 inches before I started the cuff providing I was going to do like a two inch cuff. So what I am going to do as well is I have my classic sweaters by Spastrico and they are the perfect length on the arm. So I'm going to knit or no. Well, I am, but I'm going to measure that arm length just to see so that regardless of what the pattern says, I'm going to go by the length that works for me. I forget how we got on that. Oh yeah, because I'm sure. <laughs> One thing I do love is I love kind of the, the longer necks. I don't like a thin ribbed neck as much as I do like a longer one. And I really like the ones like... If I were to do this one again, I think I might even go like knit this a little bit, maybe even just half an inch longer. I love this neck on it, but I really do love like a bit of a higher neck. Although this one's good because it actually does come up. I, I find my neck is where I lose heat. And so I'm always kind of trying to keep my neck warm, except in the summertime. Well, sometimes even in the summertime because I live in Nova Scotia, so. <laughs> Anyway, that is my habitation throw by Helen Stewart, uh, which is Curious Handmade. And this was part of her 2000, 
2019, I believe, uh, knit vent. I would, I don't know if she's still doing that every year. I know she was like a couple years ago, but I didn't sign up for it this year because I was, I just felt like I had so much, so many patterns that I had bought and hadn't gotten to knitting yet. And I thought I gotta start, I gotta start knitting. So anyway, second thing I'm doing is the Pebble Bay, Pebble Coat, Pebble Bay Simple Sweater, I think is the name of it. It's by, oh my God. <laughs> it's by something green. Oh my God. I'll put it down here. I'm totally blanking and it's not on the pattern that I, Print it off. Actually, the pattern's not even there. Where is the pattern? Which one's this? Uh oh, I think this is it. But I didn't I didn't print the oh no, that's the automotive pullover. Why do I have them? why do I have these in here? Oh here it is. <laughs> oh my god. So prepared. Pebble Bay Simple Pullover. Marie Green. Thank you. I knew it would come to me. <laughs> this is my second time knitting the sweater. I absolutely love my first version of it. And I think I'm almost, I'm getting close to being done the body. I had to stop because I was like, I think I need to measure this. But I do think I still have a couple inches to go. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, my husband is calling. Okay, I'll get back to him. <laughs> So this is, look at how that's marling. I'm using two different yarns. I am using Hypothesis yarn in the Walden colorway, which is kind of a nice, sort of a medium brown color with the golden retriever hair on it. And the it's mixed with the Illimani Echo Llama. So these are the two that I'm knitting with. And I absolutely love how this is turning out. Like, I mean, look at the, I love the marling. I am so happy I chose to do these two together. Now, the first one of these sweaters that I did was, mm, getting the name again. I think it's a DK sport weight sort of weight and I did it in this like nice warm actually <laughs> it's very close to that color but it looks completely different than this one and it was a hundred percent wool if I remember correctly so the drape on it is much different I also went I'm like 78 percent sure that I went up a size in this one the other one is more fitted not like tight but it's kind of like it, it's like this it's like close to the body whereas I wanted one because I find when I when I'm knitting a second sweater I want to do it a little different than I did the original just so it's the same sweater but different you know so this one's got where it's 100% echo llama and then this is uh, an 80 20 merino so it has a really nice kind of loose drape to it. Oh God, I can't wait to finish this. This is from her book, uh, Knit a Sweater in Two Weeks. And clearly I've not done it in two weeks. The first one I did do in two weeks, I literally just squeaked it in. We were doing a knit along and I just squeaked it in on the last day, managed to finish it up. Uh, but it did take, <laughs> to take a lot of knitting. It is going really fast. So I think what I am going to do is I'm probably going to add, I'm going to say maybe another two, three inches to this. I do want it to be, I want it to come to, let's see if we can do, I want it to kind of come, I think, to like about here. Like just, this one comes right at my belt. And I want the this one I'm knitting here to kind of, I think, kind of hit more right at the hip bone. <laughs> here, you know what I could do? I could do this. Um, so like, yeah, kind of hit right at the hip bone rather than at the waist. So I'm going to give it a couple more inches. 
So that is about all I'm knitting. I have, I'm trying to think, do I have it here? Oh, I don't. I did print off the Lento pattern which everybody had uh, suggested, I think it was last episode when I had asked what everybody was knitting. And lots of people were saying the Lento, they love the Lento. So I, I uh, purchased the pattern. And then I am trying to figure out what yarn I want to knit it with because I do want to use from my Make 9 stash. So if anybody wasn't here for the start of the year, what I decided to do for my Make 9 this year is instead of choosing patterns I was going to choose stash yarn and then my goal was to knit up nine quantities of stash yarn of sweaters quantities of stash yarn so so far I finished this one this year I don't think this wasn't I don't think this one was on the list though so yeah this will be the oh this is only the first one isn't it is it I feel like there was this I feel like I'm missing a sweater that I'm not thinking about I don't know anyway <laughs> this is either the first or the second sweater so I do kind of have to pick up the pace a little on this and I've just decided I'm not like I'm not doing any overtime anymore I'm just it's cutting into my personal time I don't like that so uh anything that doesn't get done by five o'clock ain't getting done too bad so sad so yeah i'm taking back my time um yeah i love this i absolutely love it and now that i have it out of the thing i want to work on it even more i do want to get this finished this isn't quite as urgent this is a nice um i mean don't get me wrong i really want it done and i only have like seven skates left to get through and it is a fast knit and now that i feel like i'm going i'm kind of coming down this way again the rows are getting shorter so it feels like it's starting to go a little faster as well because once you start getting out into <laughs> the middle part it's it's takes a while to get through one uh like one row so you get a row done but it took you <laughs> i don't know 10 or 15 minutes i don't know <laughs> i should have timed myself anyway that is that so I have, um, yeah, so I am trying to decide which pattern to do next. I do have a few ideas. I think I might do the Lento for the next one, but I have to figure out what yarn I want to use. And I just, I haven't settled on that yet. So I still have a little ways to go, obviously, for this. I'm not looking forward to picking up the next stitches. Because uh, I'm just really bad at that. Although my last one I did for this, the next stitches look fine. They look like good. I just, I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> I always have to watch a tutorial before I, before I do stuff like that. Because I'm just, I don't do it very often. Because usually if it's got, if the pattern has a neck, I have to go back and pick up. I'll usually skip it if I'm feeling really lazy and go to one that's, you know, you start. You don't have to go back and do the neck. I think I'm going to work on that now while I wait for my husband to get home. I have a little time and uh, catch up on some podcasts. I have not had time to do that this week either because uh, of the lack of personal time. So that is about it. I feel like this was a really quickie. I'm looking at the time. This was this one was pretty quick. <laughs> what else is going on? Oh, uh the pooch is over her kennel cough finally and yesterday we got her to the groomer oh I'm so thankful for that her nails were getting long and i was trying to clip them but she you know she's i think she can tell how nervous i am clipping them which makes her nervous like she doesn't trust me i was just so happy to get her to the groomers and she looks fantastic do you want to come share yourself off hey Anyway, she is doing fine now. I <laughs> get myself back here. And uh, yeah, back right as rain. And we have had really weird weather lately. It goes from sunny and warm, and then it pours down rain, and then we get flurries, and then it's just really cold, and then it warms up. And that is literally all in one day. <laughs> so... 
Uh, we are hoping to get down to the Schooner House for a weekend. I've booked a writing retreat there with three of my other writing friends. So the four of us are going to go down there for a long weekend in April. What about all that's going on right now? It's been kind of low key just because we haven't really had time to do anything. We are, I think, going to go to the theater this weekend. I really want to see the movie. I think it's called One Life with Anthony Hopkins that's based on the true story. I had read the true story on that like years ago and I bawled my eyes out. So I fully expect that I will do the same at the theater. <laughs> my poor husband, bring tissue. That is about all that's going on. So I hope you guys are keeping well and that you are all ready for spring and looking forward to summer. And I will probably have the March vlog up next week. I will let you guys go and I will probably see you also in the vlogs next week and uh, probably another episode a week or two after that. And maybe, maybe, maybe I will have a finished sweater or something very close to it. <laughs> so until then, happy knitting and I will see you soon. Bye.